had to shower and dress the team and <coughs> so forth. Great game. Played like garbage in the first half. Try to get it right in the second half uh, offensively as well as giving up some wounds defensively. Didn't go well. We mixed uh, one field goal as well. Time of possession in the first half was unbelievably uh, one, one-sided. We barely touched the ball. I think it was only nine minutes in the first half. Um, second half, we did some things. We showed that we were resilient. We showed that we would fight. We showed that we had no surrender or give up in us. And uh, that's a lot for a, a team that's fairly new. As you say, we just got together. So I'm truly proud of our men as well as our coaches and staff, sports staff, and so forth. Not happy with the way we play, but I'm happy with the win. You got to be happy with a W no matter how it comes. Um, truthfully, it's one point in the game I said, we can't let this dude win. There ain't no way we let this dude win. <laughs> you know, his press conference is going to be unbearable if we let this dude win. And, uh, but I knew even when we got the ball on the two or three, four yard line, I said, uh, as long as the ball is in Shador's hands, we're going to get down this field. I knew that without a shadow of a doubt. And uh, when we went to center the field to talk about overtime, I told him we want the ball. I want you to have the ball. Most teams put the defense out first so you can see kind of what they do. If you don't get, you get three, you know what you have to do. Uh, I want the offense out first. I want you to put pressure on them to get them out of their comfort zone. That's kind of how it tra <coughs> transpired. It was a great day for Colorado. It was a great day for the Buffalo fans. It's a great day that we got to win. Let's go. Hey, Coach. Congrats on the How win. you doing, sir? Doing great. Jake Schwannis, DMVR. Just curious if you have an update on Travis and just your thoughts uh, on that play. I think Coach Ray is going to the hospital to check him out. Uh, the first thing I heard that he would be out for a few weeks. Um, I heard that for sure. But we're going to do what we got to do to take care of him. So I know Travis like a book. He probably is going to want to be out for two weeks. But we got to make sure we his health is more important than his game. Hey, Coach McMiller, Fox 31. How you doing, sir? Good. Uh, you've talked about it many times that, like you said in your opening statement, that if Shador has the ball, you have faith that he can go down there. He, this isn't the first time he's done it, but to be able to do it on this stage with the amount of eyeballs on it, what does it say about his progression as a player and as a man? Uh, Shador has been that. You guys just hadn't seen it because he was at HBCU and uh, we were secluded. I guess no one had TVs and they didn't, they didn't work out here in the, the television that we were playing on last year. But that's this is who he is. It don't matter of where he came from, that's who that guy is. And uh, his passion and his study habits and his commitment to excellence, it, it shows every weekend. I know a multitude of people, not you guys, you guys are family, You beautiful women are family, but people wait for him to fail. Like, it's, he can't keep this going. Yes, he can, because this is who he is. Coach, uh, I just noticed uh, it wasn't until the fifth drive that I charted that um, Michael Harrison took the field for the offense, and yeah. it wasn't until much later in the game until Alejandro Mata took the field as the kicker. So I was just wondering, what's the message? How do you keep these guys focused when they start? Uh, the well, they got to focus. Uh, if, if a guy isn't starting, he's contributing on special teams. So um, a lot of the starters, we don't allow to play special teams unless they're seniors or inspiring juniors that's getting ready to go pro. So. Um, he got in there and did his thing and, and, and caused some key balls for us to move the chains. Uh, and Mata, you know, I give everybody opportunity. Mata don't miss. I know that. You know, he, he hadn't missed. I think he got one blocked in Jackson, right? That's it. Mata don't miss. So I'm going to give everybody an opportunity to do what they're gifted to do. But when it comes back around and he's up, he, he's going to nail it. Hi, Coach Adam Lister, Tiger. How are you doing, Sports sir? Sports doing well. Uh, after Shiloh's pick six, it looks like it looked like you guys had a moment out there. What what did that moment? What, what was I mean, that like for you? Um, you know, I'm, I'm coach, but every now and then during the game, I have a a dad moment, and that was a dad moment just running down the sideline as he was running down the sideline. I, that's the most I ran in years. Yeah, you know, yeah, I didn't even know I had it in me. But just to see his joy and see him just atone for 
some of the things because he, he studies so much and he's like, I'm going to stop playing passive. I'm going to jump it. I'm going to jump it. And, and he did it. So that was the moment of what he put into his work ethic and, and film study and just being aggressive. And he's capable of that. I, I don't know how many tackles he made, but he had a heck of a lot of tackles. That what I saw throughout the game as well. He made plays. That, then that's what counts. That helps us win. Ariel Arsudo, Nine News, over here. How you doing? Tucked back here. Um, I know you said you wanted to dominate this game. Yeah. Clearly, it didn't go that fashion. That's right. Is there a different kind of satisfaction that yeah. comes with this type of win? Resilience. I mean, the guys. They had shoot. They had every opportunity in the world to give up. They had every opportunity in the world to give in. They they didn't. And uh, they never doubted themselves on the sideline. I mean, we were upset with some of the things not being executed that were called. But these young men, never they never give up. And I went and asked, told the line, I said, guys, we just need six plays. Just give us six plays. Six plays, we're going to score, we'll get the extra point. Six plays, just give us six hard plays. And, and that's what they did. Coach Richie Carney, Denver Sports, uh, you told the world – uh, on game day to keep the cameras rolling. Right. You and Jay would meet post game. Right. When Jay was asked about it earlier, he said about what maybe went on or what was said. He said you can ask Prime about that. So yeah, well, was there anything meaningful? No. Post game. No. I, I know Shador kind of got in between it, but no, I don't. Man, I don't hold. You know, I could be petty if they petty, but I ain't. I ain't got time for that, man. I'm, I'm on to bigger things. Hey, I'm happy for the brother. I really am, man. I'm happy that they fought, that they played a good game. I'm happy he's a head coach. I'm happy for any brother that's doing it and successful, man. I, I truly am. I don't, I don't know where all this stuff comes from. I have to respond because, you know, it's my mama taught me that. You know, you just ain't going to type me and I'm going to sit back and ain't going to say nothing. But I'm happy for that dude, man. I don't know him, but I'm happy for him. I wish the best for him. I really do. Nothing. My success ain't got nothing to do with his. So why would I want him to succeed? I, I don't know how people get down like that. My blessings ain't got nothing to do with his blessings. Coach, back-to-back -back weeks were kind of slower out of the gates yeah. offensively. Is that a coaching thing, execution thing? That's a everything. Calling? That's a everything. I got to figure that out thing. That's what that is. And I'm getting tired of that thing. That that's that's what that is. We we gotta stop. We gotta stop that. We're we're better than that. We really are. We really are, as coaches, as a, a team, um, as an offense. We better than that. We better than that on the, some the silly stuff. How many times are we gonna give up an under route? I know you guys got tired of that. You're like, darn, don't they know an under route coming? Yeah, we knew that too. But how can you not? I mean, <laughs> I wish you could hear. They need to start playing the conversation on the headset on television so you guys can hear what's really going on. So is that an adjustment thing, like schematically? Or no, that that's a thing that execution? somebody people need to do their job thing. That's what that is. Just do your job, and we straight. Peter Brown, the Athletic. I'm curious, what what led to your decision to go for two in uh, the second overtime rather than just points? The, field goal? The, the way the numbers come out, the points. I mean, it, it's a chart, but you know we got so many smart guys around that they just tell you, coach, you got to go for two. Cool, let's do it, and and I understand why. That, that's what it was. Um, only thing I kind of second guess at the end when we were at the two or the three yard line, you know, I wanted to go ahead and get points instead of like because you, you, it's a tremendous letdown if you don't score right there and you turn over the ball. But then you got to think they'll still be on the two yard line and they got to drive 98. You're thinking all these thoughts, but you never go wrong with getting points. And we got a field goal. Hey, Coach out of it. Carlos Bryant, DSM. Can you talk about Hank Zelinkas? He was the true freshman that got who, to start who, today who? at center. Hank. Center. Oh, I'm sorry. I ain't, I, I'm thinking Hank. Yeah, he got to, he got to start as a true freshman today at center. Can Hanks. you talk about him? Um, it's hard. I, I, I was watching how the, everything flowed. I haven't watched film to see how he really performed, but he stepped up. And uh, this is. That's what this business is, is a next man up type of business. So I'm uh, proud of that he stepped up. I haven't watched the game film to really give you a true evaluation on how he did. Hey, Coach. Brian Howell with the yes, Camera. Um, you know, Shadour struggled throughout the, the offense, struggled throughout the entire Yeah, game. I'm so, glad you corrected that. <laughs> the, everybody's looking at you like, right. oh, excuse uh, me. So, <laughs> but, the, you know, he, he talked about this, you know, that drive at the end of regulation, you know, that quarterbacks kind of make 
those moments make quarterbacks. He talked about that being a, maybe a Brady. Moment. I don't think that moment makes him because he's had a lot of those moments. You just hadn't seen those moments. So you're just getting an opportunity to see those moments. That's who he is. I never doubted the fact that if the ball's in his hands, what he's going to do. No one on the offense, no one in the Dern Stadium doubted the fact that we don't doubt him. That's who he is. So um, we just got to make sure the ball is in his hands and, and key things. He, he fourth down plays, third and short plays. We we love the ball to stay in his hands and let, allow him to make the decision. Now, if we don't succeed and he made the decision, I can live with that. But it's hard to live with something when the ball is not in his hands. Well, I want to ask also because he did the same thing in the celebration bowl at the end of regulation. Yeah. What's different about him in those moments? Does he get a I little think, more locked I in? Think, I think, no, I think – He's he was thirty eight for what forty seven, I think he was pretty locked in all game. What is he doing for this season? Eighty percent, some crazy number like that. That's like you guys are taking this stuff for granted. This is this is not normal. Like this kid can flat out play. Forget the name Sanders. The kid can flat out play this game. He's uh, I don't know what his completion percentage for the for the season. You are good, man. You are heck of a guy. You know you're good, right? Thank you, brother. I'm, no, I'm straight up. And I was mad because I saw you last time, and then I was like, oh, my God. I appreciate it. Uh, yeah, so I wanted to give you your flowers in front of everybody. You are good, though. Thank you. Y'all yeah, know who this cat is, right? Y'all know? Y'all know who this is? And all the black folks like, yeah, we know you. White folks like, who's that? <laughs> That's the truth. Y'all just want to say it. You are good, my brother. I appreciate you. Amen. You're good, man. Hi, Coach. How you doing, sir? Good. How are you? Good. Uh, Nick Edwards, you sports report. It was a spectacular day in Boulder today. So many events. You're yeah. here and there, yeah, seeing all of your friends. What was kind of your favorite moment from today, whether it be the game or the extracurriculars? It's that is so tough. That's a great question. The Rock could be our president if he wants to be. <laughs> And with his 390 million followers, I mean, if he just asks everybody to give a dollar to this university, I think we have no problems with, uh, you know, the NIL. Um, the conversations I just had in the, my room with Key Glock and some of those guys from Memphis and you had with Cameron, um, just I love Lil Wayne like he's my son. Like he, you know, speaking to his mother before the game as well. There's so many different moments of uh, being on the different sets and seeing these beautiful, wonderful fans all congregate together. Campus was electric today. I don't know if some of you got a chance to witness it, but I don't know how it's been in the past, but campus was, were elect, was electric today. And uh, don't dismiss the fact that we always recruit. So when those college kids that are recruiting trips see this kind of stuff, it's it's one of the big, big fellas just said, hey, man, it's different. This is straight out different here. And we had some dogs here on recruiting trips today. So it was so many wonderful moments. Uh, I don't know when we're going to put it out, but my mother was pretty much the pregame speech today, her and Rock. So you're going to get a, a – it's going to be good when you hear what she had to say in the pregame speech. <laughs> Yeah, so I didn't have to fire him up. She did her dog on thing. I'm proud of her. Tony, go ahead. Hey, good morning, Coach. How you doing, sir? Tony Casolo, Buffalo's Wire. Thank you. I'm doing well. How are you? Oh, sir. Um, you know, you mentioned you want to have the ball in Shador's hands as much as possible, but the offense was two to one run to pass today. Is that by design, or would you like to see more balance? We're not the running offense? the ball. We can't do something we can't forcefully do. I mean, we're not successful at running. We got that, that's an attitude. That's an attitude. That's just a straight attitude that we're going to run the ball and you're not going to stop us. That's a darn attitude. we got to develop that attitude sooner or later, and prayerfully more sooner than later. Uh, Coach, how you doing? Clinton Yates, ESPN. Um, you talk about the vibe around this team, all the different people that are showing up around the program. Y'all are starting to get mentioned along the likes of Georgetown Hoyas, UNLV, Fab Five, Black America's team, you know what I'm saying, in terms of what you're representing. What's that like for you guys in terms of the popularity you're uh, taking on national? Well, first of all, these kids weren't even born, born. so they don't understand that. Uh, Dennis Thurman and some of the older coaches like myself, we understand that and how dynamic and how much of a blessing that is to even be mentioning those likes. Uh, it's, it's tremendous. Um, it's not a burden whatsoever. It's a blessing. 
and we're thankful for that. But I don't think um, our young men inside the locker room understand the moment. Like, that's what I told them uh, in the last series. Guys, this is a moment you will never forget. And let's maximize this moment. And they, they went out and did it. But when you're that young, and, you, you know, all of us were young one day. Some of us are still young and uh, naive. We don't understand these moments are just – slipping by slowly but surely and we got to grasp them because it's incredible what happened and what transpired today was incredible it really was from the start to the finish of the day watching 2 a.m two more romy go Coach yeah. romy Baines, how Colorado. you doing girl i'm doing great how you doing excellent just staying awake uh you know shiloh got two uh turnovers today i'm wondering if that moved him up in the kid rankings that's that's good. Yeah. You know what he he is moving up. He is moving on up like the Jeffersons, but Shador is straight up balling too. Um, Bossy came in and gave me the biggest hug and kiss and, and appreciation for Daddy that she could ever give me at the end of the game. So that was great. And Junior's been balling. What he does on social media is 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 fascinating. So it's it's tough. My kids' rankings are tough. It's a serious run right now. It really is. It's a serious run right now. I'm the only one that's honest about ranking my kids. You guys act like you love all of them the same, and you don't. <laughs> I don't know why y'all act like that. <laughs> Coach, Dan Mormon, Mile High Sports Magazine. You Last doing? week you said 80% of your team, staff, and everything is bought in. Does a win like tonight increase I didn't that number? I did say bought in. I, I never used the word bought because that would think act like we're selling something. They believe. They believe. Probably 85%. We still got another 15% to truly believe, no matter what. And oftentimes, that's not some of the pivotal and key guys. That's some of the, the staff that's distant from helping what and have influenced what we do on the field. And there's some guys that probably ain't even dressing out that, you know, they want to be a part of it, but they don't want to truly be in it. And they don't have any influence on the outcome of the game. But Honestly, they do during the week when they're serving on the scout teams and preparing us and making sure we're straight. So we're going to keep um, elevating that number week in and week out. I, I think it's around 85% that truly believe that we have some special inside those locker rooms. Thanks, Coach. Okay, appreciate you all. Sorry about this heat. I apologize on behalf of CU. We're going to get it fixed. Are we going to put Icy Breeze? Uh, uh, we endorse them as well. We're going to put Icy <laughs> <laughs> We have Icy Breeze to blow